Hello, namaste. How are you all? I'm fine. Hope the same from your side. Today we will learn some of the parenting mistakes. Yes, parents do mistakes and they hurt the children. These things we will speak today. You are knowing becoming parents. It should not be by chance. It should be by choice. When we are the parents, we should decide how we will bring up our children, what we will do. All these things should be, first of all, in our mind. And mind you, to becoming a parent is not easy. Parent means responsible parent, I mean. When a child is born, you are knowing, we become the parents. And a newborn child, a fragile child, a weak child, you are knowing, who takes care of him? Parents. Parents take care of him. And actually the children, they are weak. Now tell me whether we should beat the children. In older days, even in the schools, they used to be eaten, but now the government has passed the rule that no child should be beaten up. And if you keep on beating the children, when the child grows up, it will follow the same. It will deal in the same way with its children. Or if you don't pay attention towards your child, when the child is small, when it grows big and you will be old then, it will not pay attention towards you. That is why we should take care of our children. And one important thing that we should avoid is we should not insult the child in front of others. Otherwise, some parents are having the habit that your cousin, look at him, how good he is, how beautifully he writes, and what you are in front of all the people they speak. The child gets insulted. Next thing is, Never compare your child with others. Okay, you are comparing your child. If the child compares the parents, if the child tells, look at his father, how much he has earned, how much he looks after, he takes the child even to the world tour. What you are doing if the child asks you? So don't compare your child with anyone. And tell that, your child is yours. It is unique. The qualities which your child might be having, others may not be having it. At the same time, don't hurt your children. Don't hurt your children. We should build self-esteem within our children. I will tell you a real story which I came across a fifth standard boy. His name was Saurav. Many years back it happened when I was teaching in the school. And when he was in fifth standard, his mother gave birth to another boy child, means he got a younger brother. Parents were fond of cricket. So elder one they had named Saura, so the younger one they wanted to name Sachin. At that time Sachin was at the top. And you are knowing Sachin means uh, God of cricket. There are no other words. So this young boy, fifth standard boy, just 11, 12 years maybe, he said no. Sachin is God of cricket he is greater than all others, so you will not name him Sachin. 
because he himself was saurav so the parents afterwards they named him gaurav this is what the mentality of the children many times we think that children don't do, don't know anything even if you do anything so many times you insult them or uh, in front of other people you feel he is a child what he knows no don't do like that child has got its own way of thinking its own thinking my own example i will tell you i was two and a half years old when my younger sister was born and one of our neighboring women who had come to see the baby she told it seems now your mommy will not pet you she will not love you she has got another small baby she will not look after you now now you have grown up you have to do your own work and i cried a lot it seems at that time no doubt i was was a joint family my auntie was there my loving auntie who my loved a lot my grandfather was there so i overcome that but this is see, unknowingly that to neighboring lady what work she had to do there to uh, tell the same thing to a small child of 2 and 1/2 years what the small child knows so never insult the small children or um, don't hurt them not only insult don't hurt them instead of that give them their own place suppose you are having a party you are going to cook something call your son or daughter whoever there ask them what menu we will have whether we will have like this discuss with them they will be happy or whenever you are going out at that time also discuss with them how many days we will stay there what we will do there what we will see there what will be our enjoyment everything so in this way if you take your child and make him a part of the discussion in the uh, family the child will become more confident so we parents should make the child confident instead of that many times we compare the child with the other children and we make him to feel himself small you don't know this thing you don't know that thing look at that boy he knows this and look at that girl how clever she is this and that no never never do this your child is a unique child your child may not be good in studies but he might be good in drawing he might be good in dancing so look at his plus points and if possible encourage his plus points usually what we do we try to encourage the weak points suppose your child is good in badminton but he is weak in maths then you will arrange for a private tuition for which subject for badminton no for maths which he doesn't like instead of that if you encourage him to do well in badminton he will do more because he has got his own interest and some skills are given by god by birth for example singing or dancing you are knowing some things are by birth we say by birth he has got that quality so this qualities which your child has got by birth you can develop this with much more guidance with much more training instead of that we always take the point where he or she is weak and keep on speaking on that speak on insulting him speak on hurting him no we should not do this every child is unique we should support the child he is good in many things 
let us look at that let us look at his plus points and let us support him have a good day